Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing a pie chart data interpretation. First of all, read the information carefully in the given uh, pie chart. Uh, after that, we need to solve the questions. Here the information is about total number of passengers in six different trains. Uh, that is 4,800. Here the information is about uh, total number of passengers in six different trains. Uh, total we have uh, six different uh, trains and uh, one more uh, this particular pie chart is saying about percentage wise distribution of uh, passengers here total number of passengers are given as 4800 out of this 4800 individually in each and every train what percentage of uh, passengers are traveling that is the given information in train a here we have the trains uh, train a b c D, E, F. These are the six different trains uh, and their percentages, individual percentages are given. A is 12 percentage, B 9 percentage, C 17 percentage, D 21 percentage, E 19 and uh, F 22 percentage. Uh, all together, all together that is 100 percentage. This particular 100 percentage value is given as total number of uh, passengers that is 4800 now from this it is very clear that one percentage value is equal to 48 one percentage value is equal to 48 now look at the first question this is the complete information about uh, this particular pie chart according to that you need to solve the questions here the first question is what was the average number of passengers traveling in a uh, a C and F. Here we need to calculate the average number of passengers traveling in train A, train C and train F together. Here as we all know that average is equal to what? Sum divided by number of observations or number of values. Sum of observations by sum of observations by number of observations here we want to calculate the average therefore average is equal to numerator value is sum of observations here if you look at the uh, values train a train a is how much percentage 12 percentage plus train c train c is 17 percentage and next train f train f is how much percentage 22 percentage train f is 22 percentage as you are calculating the average which is equal to by 3 how many values we have taken three values therefore 12 percentage plus 17 percentage plus 22 percentage first calculate the average you will get the answer in terms of percentage in terms of percentage after that what you have to do is first you can calculate this one 12 plus 17, 29, 29 plus 22, 29 plus 22 which is equal to 51, 51 by 3 that is 17 percentage, that is 17 percentage, 17 percentage is the average of uh, average number of passengers uh, traveling in train A, C and F together. What is 17 percentage value? That is the value you need to calculate. 17 percentage of total number of passengers 4800. 4800. So 17 percentage value. That is your required answer. 17 into 48. Calculate this one. 48 into 17. 7 8s are 56. 5 is the carry. 28. 28 plus 8, 36. 36 plus uh, 28 plus 8, 36. 36 plus 5, 41. 4 is carry. 4 ones are 4. 4 plus 4, 16. 4 plus 4, 16. 1616. One, that is uh, our answer. 1616. One, one, See here, 4 plus 4, right? Uh, all right. 2960. No, 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 not 1616. Uh, see, uh, 4 plus 4, 8. So it is 816. 
here 56 and 5 is carry and next 28 plus 8 uh, 36 uh, 36 plus 5 41 4 carry 4 ones are 4 4 plus 4 8 8 one, six. 8 one, six is a required uh, number of passengers traveling in train A, C and F together that is the required average option A is the right answer for this question option A let us look at the second question if the cost of one ticket is 124 if the cost of one ticket is 124 what is the total amount uh, paid by the passengers of train B here we are talking about train B here train B is having 9 percentage 9 percentage of passengers which is uh, 9 percentage of uh, 4800 this is the total number of uh, passengers uh, traveling by using train B and given that uh, cost of one ticket is 124 in the given brackets one more statement is there assuming that all the passengers purchase the ticket and cost of each ticket is equal here you can assume that all the passengers who are traveling in train B each and every passenger purchased the ticket and also cost of each ticket is uh, same that is 124 so if you want the total amount if you want the total amount total amount is nothing but total amount which is nothing but number of passengers number of passengers into cost per passenger cost per passenger that is your answer here number of passengers are 9 percentage of 4800 and cost per passenger that is uh, 124 now you can calculate the answer here two zeros and two zeros cancel now you have to multiply 9 into 48 into 124 first you can multiply these two 48 into 9 48 into 9 that is uh, 72 and next uh, here it is 8 9 is 72 uh, 7 is carry 4 9 is 36 36 plus 7 43 432 now you need to multiply 432 and 124 see here 8 12 16 plus 1 17 and next uh, 4 6 8 and next uh, here it is 2, 3, 4. Now you can add all these values. This is 8 and 10 place is 6. And next uh, 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 2, 15. And next one, 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. And next uh, 4 plus 1, 5. 5, 3, 5, 6, 8. 5, 3, 5, 6, 8. Once look at the options, which option is... 53568 option b if you look at the first option first option and second option both are almost similar 53658 and this is 53568 you need to be careful about uh, these kind of options so the total amount uh, total amount paid by pa all the passengers of train b that is 53568 option b is the right answer for this question Next, see here, number of passengers in train E, number of passengers in train E, that is uh, this value, 19 percentage. Here, uh, 19 percentage is approximately what percentage of total number of passengers in train B and D together. Here, we need to calculate the percentage. Therefore, our required percentage, what percentage you need to calculate, train E. You need to calculate train E percentage out of uh, B and D together. B and D together. Train B and D together. And whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol, that is common thing, right? So, in the numerator, the value is E. E is equal to 19 divided by B plus D. What is B here? 9 percentage plus D is 21 percentage 
into 100. Calculate this value. Here it is 19, uh, 19 into 100 divided by 21 plus 9, that is 30. Here, 0, 0 gets cancelled. Therefore, our required percentage, required percentage approximately, here it is uh, 190 by 3, that is equal to, here it is uh, 63, approximate value. You don't want the exact percentage, you want the approximate percentage, which is uh, 63. 63.33 you will get. Uh, so, obviously, you will take the approximate value, which is uh, 63 percentage. Uh, the required percentage is 63 option A. The meaning of this question is, uh, trying E passengers, trying E passengers, uh, 63 percentage of B and D together. That is the meaning of that question. Okay. Next one. See here, what is the difference between number of passengers in train C and number of passengers in train A? See here, difference between C and A. C is uh, 17 percentage. Train C. First one, train C. That is 17 percentage. Whereas coming to train A. Train A is 12 percentage. Train A, which is 12 percentage. As you are calculating the difference, difference between these two, 17 percentage minus 12 percentage, which is equal to 5 percentage. Difference is equal to 5 percentage. Now you need to calculate the value. Here, total number of passengers are 4,800. So what is 5 percentage of 4,800? That is your answer. Two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled, which is equal to 48 5 sir. 48 5 sir that is 240. 240. The difference between number of passengers in train C and number of passengers in train A which is equal to 240. Some students what they will do is first they will calculate what is 17 percentage of 4800. After that they will calculate 12 percentage of uh, 4800. And then they will subtract those two values. That is completely time waste process. In examination point of view, time is very important. He is not asking us to calculate their individual values. He is asking us to calculate what is the difference between those two. If you want the difference, take the direct difference between those two values. 17 and 12 difference is 5 percentage. 5 percentage of uh, 4,800. That particular calculation is very easy as comparing to individual values. So, our required answer for this question is 240. Option A is the right answer for this question. See the last question. What is the total number of passengers in train D, E and F together? We need to calculate total number of passengers from train D, E and F together. See, train D, 21 percentage plus train E, 19 percentage, train F, 22 percentage, train F, 22 percentage. Now you can add all these values, 21 plus 19, 40, 40 plus 22, 62 percentage. 40 plus 22, 62 percentage. What is 62 percentage of uh, the total number of uh, passengers? Uh, here the total number of passengers are 4,800. You need to calculate what is 62 percentage of 4,800. 62 percentage of 4,800. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. Now you can do the multiplication over there. 48 and 62. 2 eights, uh, 16 and next uh, 8 plus 48. 8 plus 48, uh, 56. Uh, 56, 8 plus 48, 56. 56 plus 1, 57. 5 carry. And next uh, 4 6 uh, 24. 24 plus 5, 29. Therefore, total number of passengers uh, who are traveling through Train D, E, F 
all together 2976 all together 62 percentage 62 percentage of 4800 that value is 2976 2976 which is option c option c is the right answer for this question guys in this way we can solve the problems related to this kind of model and uh, i hope you understand each and every problem in this session and thank you thanks for watching